Hi guys, this is um, not so much a tutorial as much as it is a heads up on a potential gotcha that you could run into when working with Xcode. Um, so what I've got up on screen is a sample application that I was working with um, and I kind of want to show you um, the issue I ran into and sort of had to spend some time scratching my head over. All right, so this application, I've basically got a bunch of different view controllers, and each of them, of course, has a nib file. And what I'm doing right now is I've got the first view controller's nib file open. Now, you'll see that I've got a label on the screen, and you know, uh, it's just a object, and I want to be able to connect this to an outlet. So the easiest way to do this, of course, starting Xcode 4.2, is to use the assistant editor, which is this button up at the top. Uh, when I click this, it opens up um, uh, the header file and I can essentially just drag a right click and drag a connection for example over here and just we'll call it test 2 for example and hit connect and there we go so that's the easy way for us to create a um, outlet now we can also create uh, IB actions using this method of course and so it's really really convenient now watch what happens when I switch to my second view controller .nib file right when I switch to it of course it loads the file but this time when I click on the assistant editor you're gonna find that the assistant editor is still loading the first view controller dot h file which means I can't really drag a connection from this nib file to this first view controller file if I do I'll be creating it in the wrong file so this is sort of what got me thinking. I, was, I wasn't sure what was happening here. This had suddenly started occurring. And you'll notice that if I were to switch to the US Detail View Controller as well, I've got a label here, but once again, this is loading the first view controller.h file. And you know, you can turn this off and go back to the standard editor, try turning it back again. It will still load this first view controller.h file. So it took me a little bit to figure out what I had done, but turns out that there's this feature in Xcode when you pull up the assistant editor you might notice that there are a set of menus here more like you know uh, you can call them uh, breadcrumbs or whatever you like but one of them is an option called manual now this you can toggle between manual automatic and a couple different things but typically these are set to automatic so if I set that to automatic voila I get the right header file this time you'll notice that if I switch to second view controller nib I'm getting the right header file, the second view controller.h file. If I go back to my first view controller, it loads the right file. So what's happening here is basically Xcode now knows that we want it wants that we want it, I'm sorry, to automatically select the right header file. What I had done accidentally is at some point during my programming, I had switched this to one specific header file and this time you'll see it switch back to manual now when I go back to my second view controller .dev file it keeps loading that one file that I had initially picked so let me switch this back to automatic so I don't forget but I just wanted to point this out because it's very easy to um, switch this and not realize what you've done because I don't think it's very obvious as to what you've selected unless you're really looking for it and you can spend a lot of time like I said scratching your head trying to figure out why this is loading the wrong view controller and I think the way it works is it actually sets it across the board so if you open up a new project it's going to do the same exact thing so just wanted to point that out so that, and save somebody um, a little bit of a headache um, I had I remember looking on the web to see if there was something specific that had been happening or if other people had run into this issue and really didn't see anything so hopefully this video will help at least a few people thanks for watching